And there we go, I'm taking almost no damage and he is just gonna die so easy. So, very easy. That one can disarm the target for 3 seconds. He's not gonna be able to use any skill or attack during 3 seconds. You can accumulate that with the shield and you are gonna be super safe. If you take some damage, you can heal a lot using that one and you are gonna use them both most of the time. And then you have some AoE attacks and this one, that one is the best by far to increase the damage you are gonna do to enemies because it's increasing by 30% the damage received by the target from every source of damage. So your basic attacks, your skill damage and your pals are gonna do more damage. And that one is gonna increase your attack so you are gonna deal more basic attack damage and more skill damage as well. So if you decided to save every coins before and you are on day 4, I think this is the day 4 of the event, you can buy all of these and it's gonna be super easy to beat the content. And for the pals you are gonna need these. That one is the best to have on every class. The damage resistance is huge. It's gonna nullify a ton of damage. You need that on every class, no matter the class you are gonna use. That one is great for a mage. You are gonna have a ton of extra skill damage. That one is helping a lot to reduce the cooldowns of your skills and so if you have it you are going to be able to use more often your skills. That one is great because you are going to deal high damage to enemies every time you are going to use a skill. And that one is amazing to reduce the movement speed of the target. And now I can evolve again. So I'm using a healer if you want to know. So I'm getting my cooldowns faster, I have more attack, I have more skill crits and I have more duration on every skill I have. You are not forced to rush through the content by the way, you can just wait multiple days until you unlocked the last ones and so you are gonna save a ton. Because I was able to get these ones yesterday, I'm not using them anymore today and I had to spend some extra coins to obtain them so... Uh, it's better to wait during the event until you unlock more things inside. Same comment for the pals. So now, on the fifth day, I have some immortal ones. Probably the best one to get is the clone. You are gonna have a ton of extra damage if you have that one. So I think I'm gonna use that for now. Try that and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna change something more. And then you have the pals as well. You can select some immortal ones. Of course I'm gonna pick that one. This is really important for my class. I'm gonna use it there instead of the cat I think. Then of course that one. So I'm gonna have a shield every time I'm gonna fall down below 50% HP every 60 seconds instead of the snail. Yeah look at that this is so easy with the clone. He is dealing nice damage and he is tanking some damage for me. That skill I really do hope that I'm gonna get it soon on my own account. It's gonna help me so much in every content in the game. To increase by a lot of damage and my survivability as well. This is by far the best skill ever in the game. So for now, I didn't take any damage at all. And we are gonna reach the boss wave. He's gonna probably destroy my shield, okay, but now I have the clone. He has to heal the clone first. I'm gonna recover the heal and the shield and the uh, immortal for 3 seconds. And he's almost dead. I took no damage at all for now. And I should have my clone back again. That's perfect. Very safe. And that's great to accumulate both the shield and the lightning because if you take some damage, the lightning is gonna nullify the damage and so the enemy is not gonna destroy the shield. And so this is a great combo. And to use the clone as well because the boss has first to target the clone. Once the clone is dead, he has to target you. But if you are immortal thanks to the lightning, you are not gonna take any damage at all and you have the shield after. So you are already safe using that. And that's perfect, only one stage remaining, the Abyss 10. I'm curious to know if I'm gonna be able to beat that stage with the pals and skills I have now. Third wave and I took a lot of damage already. I have only a shield left. I'm gonna have the shield back. I am I lost some HP before the boss wave. I'm healing and finally the boss wave. Full HP, I have the shield. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the clone again, the shield again, the immortal again. I'm healing, I have the shield again, this is gonna be close, but the boss is dead, the boss is dead, don't. Completed all the content with these skills and these pals and that class as well. And I think that was the last difficulty we had. 
And what about the milestones? Uh, once you buy the first pack that costs 22 euros, so this is a lot, you have two packs for one euro to buy, then two packs for five euros, so already you, you spent 12 euros, then two packs for 11, so uh, 40 euros, and then you have the first pack that costs 22 euros, so 60 euros already, and then finally you can get some Sue license. And this is huge. I think these two are the best to pick today. That one because it's really important to have as many soul summons as you can to try to, your luck and get some red souls. That one to prepare for the future and increase the stats of your heroes because today we have none of it and we are gonna need some. But I'm gonna pick that one. And that one as well because I want to summon a ton of skill next week. So that's a lot of budget but as always don't forget to use up to it because this is the cashback you are gonna get on every purchase and you are gonna be able to reuse that to buy other packs for free after that. And use as well my code and use as well my code return on the right of the screen, Mushroom, to get an extra 5% cashback and support my channel. So thank you so much to everyone that is using my promo code. I, I already have all of that cashback. So I can buy that pack for free? Oh, that's interesting, cool. Probably because I spent a lot on the Lucky Spinner even right before. And look at that, of course you're gonna have a bigger pack as well, 55 euros after and you get that inside. Oh my god, the week is gonna be super expensive for many players I guess. But look at that, for 55 euros, you have a 12k diamonds and the price, the value of that normally is more than 100 euros and same comment for the skill coupons. So for the spenders, if you check on the Soul Rush event, for example, if you check that, yeah, this is the price, 65 only for 110 euros and you can get more with only 50 euros and all the rewards in the same pack. But then I'm gonna stop my spendings there because it's way too expensive for me. I already spent a lot in the month and so I really want to slow down a bit and wait next month to plan my spendings again. So guys, that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.